Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Manmana Bhava Madbhakto Madhyati Mam Namaskaru Mam Eva Eshasi Yudhayvam Atmanam Matparayana Mamana Baba Madbhakto Mamana Jivam Namaskuru Mamana Jivam Always thinking of me. Yaji Worshipper Mam Unto me Namaskuru Offer obeisances Mam Unto me Eva Completely Eshasi Come Evam being absorbed. Admanam your soul. Matrayana Glory to me. Translation. Engage your mind always in thinking of me. Offer obeisances and worship me. Being completely absorbed in me, surely you will come to me. So, what is the difficulty? Krishna is recommending these four things. Manmanabhava, always think of me. You, Manmanabhava Madhva, you become my devotee. Unless you become devotee, you cannot think of Krishna. That is automatic. If you think of Krishna always, that means you are devotee. Otherwise, why a person waste his time thinking of Krishna? He can think of business. He can think of so many other things. Only the devotee can think of Krishna. So, if you think of Krishna, then automatically you become devotee. Is there any objection? No. Uh, who can think of Krishna always? Not always even think of Krishna. Uh, unless one is devotee. Uh, and to think of Krishna, what is the difficulty? Uh, is there any difficulty to think of Krishna? Thinking power we have got, we think so, our mind is never vacant. Always think something. We think of something always, twenty-four hours. That is mind's nature. So, if you simply think of Krishna, then your right life becomes successful. Where is the difficulty? Hmm? Uh, the result is Mami Vaishasi. By following these principles, uh, thinking of Krishna, which means to become devotee, uh, Manmana Bhava Bhava, Madhyaji. 
uh, anyone who is devotee, naturally he will worship Krishna. The temple is there. We worship. Then Manmanabhavan Majdai. Magnamaskuru. And worshipping Krishna means if you cannot do anything, you simply go and offer your visions. That's all. Mm-hmm. It is open to everyone. There is no restriction that such and such men can come and offer obeisances. No. Anyone. Manghi pātava pāsriti. Jīvi su pāpa jūna. Born in low-grade family. It doesn't matter. So where is the difficulty that we want to discuss? To become Krishna conscious, is there any difficulty for any person, anywhere, any part of the world? Let us discuss this point. Huh? You sit down properly. I say you. Yes. <coughs> so, discuss this point. What is the difficulty? Why people are not Krishna process? But the process is very simple. Mm. The result, not diverse with attention. Mami Vaishasi, what is the next line? Mami Vaishasi Yuktvaya. Juktaiva. Jukta means connected. If you think of Krishna, if you worship him, offer obeisance, that means you are already connected. Jukta-yuva. What is the jukta meaning? Absorbed, being absorbed. Ah. Then, read the whole line. Mamai Vaishasi Yukvaivam Atmanam Matparayana. Atmanam. Atmanam means Krishna is the Supreme Atma. <coughs> Just like we love Atma, every one of us. We, if there is some danger, then immediately we try to protect ourselves, uh, protect his body from danger. Why? Why do you want to protect his body from danger? What is the reason? They identify the body as the self, and the self is part and parcel of Krishna. Uh, that is wrong conception, but actually, because I am living within this body, I want to give protection. This is the fact. Uh, it's like one protects his country. Because he lives there, protects his house, protects his property, because he has utilization. Similarly, because we have got utility for this body, we give protection. But uh, when the living entity is no longer there within this body, there is no possible protection. It is thrown out. Even his father, mother, or relative, they take the body and throw out. In a different way, the body is thrown out. It is no more important. So, that ultimately it comes that you love yourself. And you love yourself, uh, but the self is the part and parcel of the Supreme Self. Therefore, you love yourself because you love the Supreme Self. Mm. Uh, 
Actually, everyone has got the loving propensity because he loves Krishna. That is natural. Uh, so Krishna says that simply by following this process, man manam bhavaman bhakta manjari, mavi voices, you are trying to find out this supreme lovable object. So Mahavi voices we come. And let us live uh, loving one another. This is the goal of life. Uh, and every one of us, we love Krishna, but we are missing Him. Therefore, we are uh, our blessing, our loving propensity, wrongly, here, there, here, there, here, there. And we are becoming frustrated. Krishna says that if you simply follow this process, manmana bhavamad bhakta, you come to me, come to your original lover. So that is the difficulty. To attain the highest perfection of life, where is the difficulty? <coughs> Anyone can say that here is the difficulty. You explained Bhagavatam Shavapad, Bhagavishvaya Prasaktanam Maya Parita Chaitasam. To those who are too attached to material enjoyment and material repugnance, the devotional service cannot take place. Hmm. This can be one difficulty. Because we want uh, material happiness, therefore <coughs> there is difficulty. Hmm. So, material happiness, we have got experience, it cannot give us satisfaction. Uh, and big, big countries, America, in Europe, and so many, they have advanced in material happiness. But actually, they are not happy. The material happiness cannot give us. Happiness. <coughs> happiness, when we actually come to Krishna and love Him, happiness means also love. Either you love your family or your country or your society or your wife or children, then by loving there is happiness. But this loving process is not giving us happiness. We are becoming frustrated. Uh, therefore, uh, the real lovable object being Krishna, if we make progress to that uh, point, then this is the This is the point. So if this is concluded, then where is difficulty to execute Krishna consciousness? That is my point. Now it is concluded that if we come to Krishna and love Him, then that is the as perfection of our life. Now to attain that as perfection of life, where is the difficulty? That is the point I was. <clears throat> Only if one is envious of Krishna. Huh? Then there is a question of love. That yeah. is another thing. But if you actually want to love Krishna, where is it? There is no difficulty. There is no difficulty. No difficulty. Uh, that is my point. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if you don't want to love somebody, then there is no question of process. Yes. But if you know by loving such and such person you will be happy, then there is process, and the process is very easy yeah. and open to everyone. That is my point. Now discuss on this point. Sometimes devotees, they, they want to love Krishna, but they they, they fall down. They, they can't seem to... They want to love Krishna, but they divert their love to other things. That is the difficulty. 
If you want to love Krishna, then follow this. Manmana bhava mad bhakta mad jani na If you love Krishna, then why you are diverting your attention? You are worshipping deity, you are thinking of loving some of us. That's all. Eh? Why you are diverting? If you love Krishna, you are engaged in Krishna's service, just decorate nicely. Eh? Why you are diverting your attention? That means I am not yet convinced. But I am loving Krishna, I will be perfect. That is the deal. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Ye tamam prapadyam te tams to taiva vajamyam. Then everything is said that we are discussing one point uh, that one is if we are convinced uh, that is that requires uh, education uh, love we are being frustrated every point now when the perfectional point will come uh, that is by loving the original objective. Uh, there are so many examples. Just like a child is not happy in another oven's lap, crying. <laughs> but as soon as he comes to the lap of his own mother, he is immediately happy. So mm-hmm. we are trying to be happy so many ways, but we are not becoming happy. When we come to the real point of loving Krishna, love is there. I want to love somebody, everyone. But that is not being properly utilized. Therefore we are unhappy. So when you come to the stage of loving Krishna, then you become happy. This is the point. That is being instructed by our Krishna consciousness movement. Now, to love Krishna, uh, Krishna never says that uh, in order to love me you have to go to the factory or to work somewhere fifty miles away from your home. He does not say all this. Simply, manmana bhavavad bhakta vajjāyī. But the question may be read that if I want to love Krishna, then how other things will go on? This question may be read. Krishna never says that you have to go to the factory, earn money, and then you can love me. He never makes this condition. Is that any condition? <laughs> <laughs> now practical persons will say, if I think of Krishna always, then where from money will come? <laughs> this question may be raised. I will answer it. <clears throat> Krishna says, Yogic Shemam Bahamya. Ah, find out this verse. <laughs> <clears throat> Ananyas Chintayan Tomam, Yejanak Paripasyate. But those who worship me with devotion, meditating on my transcendental form, to them I carry what they lack and preserve what they have. The same thing, this meditation is manmana bhavavad bhakta. All of Krishna. For those who are engaged in this way, all of thinking of Krishna, worshiping Krishna. <coughs> For such persons, uh, Krishna says, Jova kemang bahamyaham. I personally carry all the necessities of life. 
I personally care. So my point is that uh, here in this new Mahapur, if you simply carry on this manmanab home of Bhakta, then all your necessities will come automatically. Don't bother. <laughs> carry my <myself. laughs> yeah. You'll get sufficient food, sufficient milk, sufficient fruits, flowers, all necessities. Uh, simply uh, you act on behalf of Krishna and think of Krishna. And don't bother about the necessities of life. It will be automatically supplied. Don't be disturbed from that point of view. Simply engage yourself in this business of manmana bhavavad bhakta vajjali manmana. That is my point. Srila Prabhupada, how are we to determine how much of our endeavor should be for our own personal uh, progress? There is no personal. <laughs> there is no personal endeavor. Uh, just like these animals, they have no personal endeavor. They are depending on you. If you cut his throat, you can cut. And if you give him protection, you can give it. But they, the animal has no personal endeavor. That is full surrender. <laughs> That is our position. Remain fully surrendered to Krishna and He will give you protection. That you are thinking how the animal will live, how these children will live. It is not the children's business, not the animal's business. He is fully surrendered. That's all. One manava bhagavad That's all. Other things will be done, Krishna. Krishna says, Yoga came on Mahama. I shall do that. Why your personal enemy? Sometimes if we are faced with a service we think is beyond our means. Huh? Sometimes we what hesitate to do it. Man difficult. Man of, of, beyond your means? <laughs> <laughs> that we have already discussed. It's not beyond your means. <clears throat> if you think of Krishna, who can check it? Hmm. Why do you say beyond your means? <clears throat> Huh? Yeah. Cannot be checked. It cannot be checked. There's no question of checking. If somehow Srila <laughs> Prabhupada someone falls down, does that mean that he did not want to love Krishna? Yes. If someone is doing some service which involves business, is he thinking of Krishna when he's thinking of that service? <coughs> yeah, if he's doing for Krishna, he must be thinking of Krishna. Hmm. And just, just like somebody who works in business or factory for the wife and children, he always thinks of them. <laughs> <laughs> Although he is working in the factory or in business, he is thinking of the welfare of his wife, children, family. Mm-hmm. Similarly, if you actually work for Krishna, you think of Krishna. <coughs> How can a person with all material desires develop desire to love Krishna? Material man says, you uh, love more Krishna automatically. Material desires will be finished. <coughs> Because you do not love Krishna, send person, therefore material. The balance is filled up by material desire. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Just like in a glass, there is some ink. And if you fill up with water the full glass, the ink will vanish. Mm-hmm. There will be no more ink. It will be all, all white. Bhakti Parishan Bhava Vidakti Anatrasa. To love Krishna means you have no more material. 
the percentage you are lacking Krishna hmm. love, the percentage material desires are there. If you love Krishna, ten percent, then ninety percent material desires. And if you love Krishna, ninety percent, ten percent material desires. Mm-hmm. And if you love Krishna, ten percent, there is no material desires. <coughs> this is the way. So if you love Krishna, Twenty-four hours, ten percent, simply thinking of Krishna uh, and offering obeisances, worshiping. Then where is the possibility of material desire? There is no possibility. Uh, the process is very simple. Man mana bhagavad bhagavad and all other things, they will come automatically. Uh, actually Krishna is supplying everything. Uh, the Krishna is supplying this grass. The animal will eat. And the, the animal will supply milk. He drink the milk. The Krishna is supplying. Everything is being supplied by Krishna, actually. But because you do not know Krishna, do not love Krishna, you cannot understand. But supply is being made by Krishna. Yoga kheva vahavi hum, even for the non-devotees. So what to speak of the devotees? It automatically comes. This is the way. So the point is there is no difficulty to become Krishna conscious and the result is so big that Mami Vaishya Sriya Sangusara. Just Gatyana Nivatyanti Saddhavam Paramamma. So for such great benefit of life, if you simply think of Krishna and become his devotee, why shall I lose this opportunity? What is that intelligence? Therefore, unless one is a rascal, miscreant, lowest of the mankind, he cannot give up Krishna consciousness. Hmm. It is not possible. Namag duskita namungraha prabhadvante Unless he is rascal number one, lowest of the mankind, full of sinful activities, he cannot avoid Krishna <laughs> This is You have given the analogy that when a person turns his back to the sun, he creates the shadow. And as he turns towards the sun, the shadow disappears. Mm-hmm. That is the vote of our Krishna Sudja Sama. God has his light, my is the sun. Does Krishna punish people who do not serve him fully, or do the people punish themselves when they do not serve him fully? <coughs> By nature's uh, nature is acting uh, by Krishna's indication, so nature will punish you as soon as you violate. Nature's law, he'll be punished automatically. Suppose if you you are not hungry, you have no appetite, but if you by force, if you eat, then you'll increase the disease because you are violated. There is no appetite, still you are eating. 
so you must suffer. If you have infected some disease, so you must suffer from the disease. That nature's law is working. <laughs> Krishna hasn't got to take any direct action. Nature, Maya, is there. As soon as you violate the laws of Krishna, you'll be punished. Automatically. You cannot avoid it. Daivid Ji Saguna Vai Mahumaya Dhanatta. Cannot avoid. Those who are trying to overcome the laws of nature, that is the so called modern scientist endeavor, and that is foolishness, that's kind of. They cannot. It is not possible. It's like uh, we are here, we are given this planet to live, and there is this moon planet we can see. And these rascals try to go there. So, so many ways. <laughs> they refuse. No, you cannot go. Live there, go. The spectacle. We see the moon planet is there. We have got machine, we can go, but you cannot go. <laughs> this is law of nature. This is practically true. But they are so rascal, fool, they are going to another planet. <laughs> they do not think with the one planet we have already failed. <laughs> they are called puna puna chod with the Chewing the chewed. They are being baffled every step. And still they are trying to overcome the laws of things. That is their thing. Maya Bhujagyana. Maya is so strong upon them that their so called scientific knowledge is useless. In nineteen hundred fifty eight, when I wrote that wow, journey to other planet, I wrote in that book those who have read it, that this moon planet excursion is simply childish and waste of time. And actually it has proved. So I was not a scientist, neither I am a scientist. How did I say? I said on the strength of the bharsan in the Vedic literature that it is not possible. Uh, you cannot. We are conditioned. We are conditioned to remain in a certain condition, certain atmosphere. We cannot surpass that. It's like we are animals of the land. We cannot go to the water. And the aquatic species, they are animals of the water. They cannot live on the land. <coughs> Why these rascals are trying to overcome the laws of nature? How foolish rascals they are, just imagine. Any child can understand, but these rascals cannot understand. They are challenging that we are trying to overcome the law. Is it not? Mm. That is their challenge. Therefore they are rascals. Naranava. Maya-apurita-jñāna. They are attempting in something which they cannot perform. Therefore they are rascals. Mūrā. The better to become more and more mūrā, better take to Krishna consciousness. <laughs> That will make your life safe. Mm. Why should you imitate these rascals? Hmm? What is your saying? What do you think? You say they are rascals. What do you think? They are all rascals. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) 
anyone protest against this? <laughs> He'll be another rascal. <laughs> Don't try to overcome the laws of nature. That is not possible. <clears throat> he has been given this land, this planet, to live here. Grow your food, chant Hare Krishna, and live peacefully. Why should you go to the moon planet? <laughs> but there is process. If you want to go, there is process. Not this that by force I can go there by machine. That is not possible. That is foolishness. Just like I am Indian. If I want to come to France, I must take visa. I must say. Passport and so on, so on. By force, I want to enter. No. So we have got experience that by force we cannot do anything. He must be competent to uh, go anywhere, provided you qualify yourself. Janti deva, bhuta deva, pitrin, janti, pitrin. You can go. But not in that way. Because you have got a teeny machine, you can go. That is not possible. That is useless. That is not possible. If someone forces his mind, Srila Prabhupada, to think of Krishna... That is foolish. One who is controlled by his mind, that is more foolishness. But if he forces his mind... That, that's all force or not force. One who is controlled by the mind, he is a rascal. Hmm. He is a rascal. Mano rathena satu dhavato bahi rava bhaktas kutu mahadabuna mano rathena satu mano rathena. They are driven by the chariot of mind. Useless. No utility. No benefit. <coughs> but all these rascal scientists, philosophers, they are going on the chariot of the mind. I think. In my opinion, Manorathena <laughs> on the mental platform. So they're all foolish. They have no value. Mental concocts, useless. That means that our attraction for Krishna must be spontaneous. Huh? Our attraction it is not spontaneous. Force? You want yeah, to love somebody. But the love is misplaced, therefore you are baffled. You mm. place it to Krishna, you will be happy. Love is there. That is not a new thing. But you are misplacing the love. That information we are given, that don't mm. misplace your love. Place your love to Krishna, you will be happy. So we can bring the mind under the control of Krishna? Yes. One who is under the control of my uh, Krishna he is no more under control of the mind. Sabai manak Krishna padaravinda. Mind is being controlled. So mind cannot dictate. <coughs> Those who are not under control of Krishna, the mind dictates them. He is under the control of the mind, or senses. Mm. Mm. So the uh, point is that be fixed up in Krishna consciousness. Don't disturb yourself by the material um, environment or enchantment. Be fixed up. Chant Hare Krishna. Always fixed up uh, your mind at the lotus feet of Krishna. So far, the necessities of life concerned, that will come automatically. You will never be in trouble. Hmm. Go on with this business. Thank you.